Hi everyone, Forrest here with Honey Pots Zone 5 in the Mitten. It is spring and we are back out in the garden. We get to move on ahead. I know I planted the peas behind me a little bit too early and I had mentioned that in my video. It might work, it might not. I did a second sowing. They didn't take then, so I'll be doing a third one today and we'll see how that works out. I probably won't have another chance to do another sowing with those because the temperatures are going to start moving up and that means no peas until the fall. I could replant them in the fall. So anyways, this is going to be the carrot bed and I've got two types of carrots here. Um, one is going to be like a regular, this is a Danver carrot, um, just a regular orange carrot. Um, love carrots. We eat a ton of them in this house raw, cooked, in things. Um, there's like a little carrot souffle thing that I make around the holidays, which is absolutely yummy. One of Trinity's favorites here. Trinity's hanging out behind the camera with me. And then this other one is was a free packet um, from Baker Creek Seeds. They like to give out free packets of seeds, which is kind of fun because you get to try new things if you want to. If not, I kind of pass my seeds along. So, and this one is called Cosmic Purple. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but that is what the carrot's supposed to look like. It's kind of like a drawing of it. And I'll be doing half and half in this bed, um, half of the purple and half of the orange. Um, in the center, I'm just going to do some marigolds, which I have here. Uh, these are from Baker Creek as well. And these are called, um, Legion of Honor. They have a nice small flower on them. They make a nice round little, not really a bush because they're not a bush, they're a perennial, but they, they have a nice growth to them and they have quite a bit of flowers. They look good in the garden and we all know they help with the buggies. One thing with my soil that I like to do here is I don't like to disturb it much and I told you guys in my pea videos about the bees that will nest in the ground and if you disturb it too much you can destroy them and they won't come back and these bees are on the endangered species list they are um, they prefer like cucurbits which are going to be cucumbers and squash and um, they're also called like squash bees so um, they're probably not in this bed but my guess is they're going to be in that bed and the bed behind Trinity there where I had my zucchini at this year. So um, the less disturbed, the better. Um, I'll probably do a thin layer of my compost on top of this so I can feed my uh, carrots when they start coming up. And I have my pot kind of representing the center. And with carrots, you only need to plant them about a quarter of an inch down. And so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm probably, um, I'll probably make three rows in this bed and I'll just show you guys like half of one row. There's no reason for you to sit and watch me plant a whole bed of seeds. I know that can be pretty boring at times. Um, so I'm just going to scrape the top of this soil. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Again, looking out for um, our friends, the bees and uh, what other type of um, little bugs that like to nest in here and stuff. For the most part, the majority of the bugs outside are good. Um, well, they're, none of them are really bad, but they don't take over and eat everything and stuff. And if you have a good healthy garden and good healthy plants, the bugs aren't going to be that big of an issue. And if you plant other plants in your garden that will attract those bugs away from your other plants, um, then that will help as well. And we'll get, I'll do a video on that later when those start coming up. I use Love Lies Bleeding in the garden. These are the little seeds here. They're really tiny. But these are the carrot seeds and I'm just gonna sprinkle them. And as they come up, I will thin them out so they aren't super, super thick. And there we go with that. And again, in this little tiny seed here, I don't have to add anything to this soil. This seed will have everything it needs in here before it gets its set of 
first true leaf. The first leaves it gets, it's just sit seeds leaves. And those seed leaves and the pod of the seed casing itself houses all the nutrients that that plant's gonna need till it gets its first set of true leaves. And by that time, you'll be able to mess around in the garden a little bit more with them. And when they pop up, I'll just bring in a pair of small cutting scissors. I think I have some in here. Yeah, see, they're real tiny. And I'll just nip them off at the ground level instead of pulling them to thin them. That way I'm not disturbing the root of the carrot itself. So I will continue on with the, these buds here, well this one bed here, and plant my purple carrots on this side, my Cosmics, and then my uh, orange Danvers on this side of the bed. And in the center, I'm going to plant my marigolds. And these you're gonna do about the same depth, maybe a little bit more, maybe like a half inch. The rule of thumb is, like I went over with the peas, is to plant your seeds twice as deep as they are around. So you can imagine this didn't need much soil over it because they're so small, where a pea seed is quite big. Um, and there are some seeds that they do need sunlight to sow. And if they do need that, it's going to say it on the packet. If you're not sure, you can contact me or you can Google it. So anyways, I'm gonna continue on with this bed. And in my pot here, I've got a special thing going in my pot. I don't have them yet, but um, my sweetheart asked me to grow some cilantro for him. So Kitty, this is for you and I will get you some cilantro going. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe and any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down below and I will see you guys in the next video.